Lesson 25 introduces numbers in uh, Hebrew. First of all, the cardinal numbers, 1 through 10. In Hebrew, the number 1 is an attributive adjective and therefore agrees in gender and number with the noun it modifies. Occasionally this adjective appears without the article even when the noun it modifies is definite. But you can see it appears in uh, absolute form, echad, construct form, achad. You have a feminine absolute form, achat, or achet, uh, echad, echat and then a feminine construct form of achat. There's even a uh, masculine plural form, achardim, which might seem a little strange, but it can be used in the sense of a few or not many, like a few books or the like. The number two is a substantive, it stands in the construct preceding the plural form of the noun it modifies. Uh, or it may stand in the absolute state uh, with the noun in apposition. Or it may stand in the absolute state following the noun. Well, anyway, the forms are shanayim, too. <clears throat> if it's construct, it would be shanay. The feminine form is shatayim. And uh, the construct of that would be chate. But an example, if you want to say uh, two sons, you can say chane uh, banim, uh, two of sons, uh, but it means two sons. Or you could say two, namely sons, shanayim banim. Or you could say sons, namely two, Benim Shanayim. Uh, uh, Numbers 3 through 10 are also substantives. They also may stand in the construct state before the plural form of the noun they modify, or in the absolute state with the noun in opposition. But, and this is a little weird, whereas numbers 1 and 2 show agreement in gender between the number and the noun. Numbers 3 through 10 do not, but rather the feminine forms modify masculine nouns, and the masculine forms modify feminine nouns. So here's the column for the masculine absolute form. So Shalosh is 3, Arba is 4, Hamesh is 5, Sheish is 6, Sheva is 7, and uh, Shemoneh is uh, 8, uh, spelled either plain A or defectively. Uh, Tasha is 9, and Esher is 10. Uh, the feminine forms add kamatz he all the way through. So instead of shalosh, you get shalosha. Instead of arba, you get arba'a, uh, and on down the list. The construct forms are uh, fairly predictable. So you have shalosh with a kamatz. Well, if it becomes construct, that becomes pre pro propretonic and reduces to shava. Same thing with chamesh, although you get a hatapata because of the guttural. Uh, Shase does not change. Sheva usually doesn't change, although it can. Um, and on down uh, the list, uh, mostly uh, uh, predictable. Forms like uh, Tasha becoming Tasha is uh, a little less predictable. Well, the way that you'd actually say something like three sons, well, you, could use, you could use construct, three of sons, 
But again, sons is masculine. The word three is going to be feminine. So it'd be shaloshet uh, banim. Three of sons. Or you could say shalosha banim. Three, namely sons. But again, in a very unusual, uh, or at least uh, ironic uh, uh, way of doing it, <clears throat> the word three is feminine, the word sons is masculine. Or if you want to say three daughters, you could say three of daughters, uh, shalosh banot. Uh, or you could say uh, three, namely daughters, shalosh banot. Uh, means the same thing. Ordinal numbers are like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, uh, that kind of numbers. The ordinal number first is expressed by a separate word, uh, Rishon. Again, it could be spelled uh, with or without the Aleph, but it is from uh, the noun Rosh, head or beginning. Echad uh, may also be used as an ordinal. Context determine whether Echad is functioning as an ordinal first or a cardinal one. On numbers second through tenth, uh, the ordinals are formed by taking a uh, variation on the uh, cardinal numbers and adding a heric yod. So you have uh, Shanayim, two, but second is Sheni. Shalosh is three, but then you get Shalishi. And in a lot of cases, you get a Hirik Yod. You get a Hirik Yod at the end, but you uh, get a Hirik Yod thrown in the middle sometimes too, perhaps by vowel harmonization. Uh, Arba is four, but Re'i... E, Revi E is fourth. Chamesh is five, but Chemi uh, She is fifth. Uh, notice the variation of spelling. You also got Chemishi with a doubling, uh, where the Yod apparently assimilates into the Sheen. And then Sheish is six, but Shishi is six, sixth as a uh, a ordinal and uh, Sheva is seven but uh, Shevi E is seventh uh, Shemone is eight but uh, Shemini is eighth and Tasha is ninth but Tashi E is uh, uh, Tasha is nine but Tashi E is ninth and Esser is ten but uh, Asiri is tenth. Feminine forms of the ordinals have an eat ending with a T. These forms are often used to express fractions like uh, uh, Asirit may mean tenth or a tenth part related to the tithe. Unlike cardinal numbers uh, three through ten Ordinals agree in gender with the noun that they modify. Cardinal numbers 11 through 19 are formed by placing the units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 before the number 10, though note that the number 10 is a slightly uh, different uh, form uh, from the normal number 10. It's uh, uh, Asar as opposed to Esser. So 11 is a Hadassar. There's an alternative form which does not use the number 1, uh, Esteasar, which also means the same thing. And then uh, 12 is Shetem uh, Asar, or Shete Asar. Uh, 13 is Shalos Asar. And then uh, 14 is uh, uh, R Ba'a Asar, and 15 is Hamisha Asar, and uh, uh, 
16 is uh, uh, Shisha Asar, and 17 is Shiva Asar, and Shamona Asar is 18, and Tisha Asar is 19. And that's uh, with feminine nouns. With masculine nouns, uh, you'll use the fem uh, with feminine nouns, you'll use uh, the numbers with the feminine forms of one through nine, and it becomes Ezra rather than Asar. The nouns modified by the number may be in the singular or in the plural. Some common nouns normally appear in the singular like Ish or Nefesh or Yom or Shana, uh, man, person, day, year, or uh, 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 Shevet, tribe. So when you want to say 16 years, you could say Shesh Esrei Shana, 6, 10, year, 16 year, 16 years, we would say in English, though they often leave it singular. Or 13 men would be uh, Shalosha uh, Asar, uh, 3, 10, which is 13, and then man, 13 man, meaning 13 men. Cardinal numbers 20 through 99. The number 20 is expressed by a plural form of the number 10. So the number 10 is Eser, and then you get Ezrim for 20. And the other numbers are, uh, the other 10s are formed by the plurals of their corresponding units. So Shalosh is 3, Shaloshim is 30, Arba is 4, Arbaim is 40, uh, Hamesh is 5, uh, Hamishim is 50, uh, Shesh is 6, Shishim is 60, Sheva is 7, Shivin is, Im is uh, 70, uh, Manoneh is 8, but uh, Shamoneh is 8, but uh, Shamonim is 80, and Tesha is 9, but Tishim is 90. These numbers are normally used with singular nouns, but they can also appear with plurals. So you can say Shishim uh, Shana, 60 year, meaning 60 years. But you'll also see uh, Shishim uh, Shanim, 60 years. The uh, tens can be used as both ordinals as well as cardinals. So uh, if you have Shishim, uh, that can be either 60 or 60th. So here you have uh, Bish uh, uh, not Shishim uh, in the year of 60, but it means it can mean in the 60th year. They, there's not a separate form uh, for the cardinal and ordiner, or ordinal for the uh, tens between uh, uh, 20 and 90. Uh, these can be combined with the other numbers to uh, get the numbers in between. So if you want to say 31 men, you'd say Echad u Shaloshim ish, 1 and 30, meaning 31. Or if you want to say 73 women, you could say Shiv'im uh, ve Shalosh, 70 and 3 meaning 73 Isha women. Well, I think we'll finish the uh, section here on the next video.